This is an overview about the Chroma Electronics Room Connectivity Configurator uh, for T buses, wall plates, and floor boxes. Uh, to get the app, you go to the Chroma website. It is under the tab of Products, Configurators, and you just click on Install. You can as well use the View Online version, which is the same exactly as what is installed. Um, so to start, you can see here on the left side, you need to choose what you want to configure, T-Bus, wall plates, floor boxes, and rack mounts. In our case, we will go for the T-Bus. So you tick for the T-Bus, and you come here down, and you click Next. Now you need to select the exact type of T-Bus that you want. Uh, there are various T-Buses. There is a podium table bus. There is under the table. Um, this is for either glass tables or for tables who you cannot uh, make a holes in the middle. Um, you have the semi-fixed solutions. Um, and then we will go with the T-Bus 1A XL. In here, this is the first step. Once you select, you can choose the color of the T-Bus itself in that option, the colors it comes, and the color of the table to make an impression for the client of exactly how it will look like. So if the table is black, either you want it a black T-Bus or you want it aluminum clear. Then we continue. It will give you all the options for the plates, the inserts inside. How do you want your T-Bus layout? Uh, you can see here the uh, smooth inserts, those are for power. So for example, here there will be only one socket, here there will be two power sockets, and here there will be four uh, sockets, which is two doubles. And again, here, and one, and so on, and you choose just whatever you want. We will go with the T1AF26. Um, you keep them for later, and then you get the layout of the T-Bus to work with. You can also see on the right the different types of uh, inserts that are included in the box. So if you need uh, a plane, you don't need to, to add. You just put them here to close if it's uh, very limited. And to remove, you just bring them back in here. Very simple. After you select the plate, you select next again. Then you go for the power. You can select the UK power sockets, or if you don't want the UK, you can remove it here to the rubbish. Uh, if you want uh, South Africa, you put those ones if you don't want. We usually select the multi one that supports most of the regions. Uh, it comes both in double and single and you continue on. You can as well in that space of the sockets have control panels. Um, but in our case I want power. So as you can see, it is very simple. Then you go next, you select the power cable if you want, and if not, it's any normal uh, cable. Then we continue next. Then we get to the part of all the types of inserts. You can sort them by either input connector, signal the type of signal, which will give you computer, video, audio, data, HDMI, and so on. If you go by input connector, it will give you all the types. And you can do by size, either single or double or just long. Uh, we will go with the input selector. Then we go for VGAs. Again, you can see many types of VGAs. But what is very important, you will see here at this space, when I move my mouse, you will see the different termination. So you can see this is um, a terminal block. And this is with a female on the other side, which is the one I like. Um, then we can continue, we can move away from VGA. You can as well do all connectors and now scroll slowly, slowly on whatever you want. So I like two RJ45s and it's just drag and drop, very simple. Uh, the same with the VGA, with the VGA here, female, male. Um, you can go for the blue one. Um, then you have, again, you can see the, at the bottom, the terminal. So just don't get confused before you get the wrong one. And then I want to go down to USB. Again, very important when you put USB, you need to select the right one. And you can see there is a USB A in front and USB B in the back. Uh, so very, very key to know what you're selecting. And also what is connected on the other side. So I can put USB here. 
and I can put also now let's go for HDMI if I can't find HDMI I come here I go a bit up HDMI I get HDMI you can as well go if you want by USB you will also get the USB power and then you have two double sockets and two power USB and there you have a T-Bus and again the sky is the limit you can remove the USB you can remove the HDMI or you can leave the HDMI and put a blank one you can remove the blank one and back here and you can remove the HDMI and remove the VGA you can put if you want um, display port or whatever or BNC uh, let me put this here or DVI DVI always come in double um, you can have uh, buttons you can have just two buttons if you want to control let's say uh, a projector inputs and as well you can put um, XLR for a microphone if you want to have a gooseneck if this is going for um, for a podium an XLR can do so this will be for a microphone and there you go to T-Bus uh, if you click next you get to the different controls in our case we did not go for them and what you'll notice in the end you'll get here BOQ in which when you click share you can get it in an Excel, in Excel format to allow you to make your to put into the BOQ and get the quote to the client you can as well share as a PDF or as the format for the application to open it next time and uh, and uh, share it or work on it in the future um, if we go quickly for the wall plates same principle apply you choose if you want double single what's exactly the size you want and then again you select the different inputs that you want on the wall plate so RG45 and let's say composite simple as that um, that is it thank you very much uh, for more information www.gramelectronics.com